In today's video, we're gonna be doing oh oh oh. oh. <laughs> um, you might have seen the short that I made, so I must have saved it just as this guy was coming into land. And um, so yeah, an alternative in an alternate universe, he landed and took off. And everything looks fine, but in the in the main canon universe, he didn't make it. So anyway, <laughs> got to make a new boat so I can go rescue that other boat. Man, I have not got my voice back completely yet. So I might as well use this boat to go and recover the other boat. It's got a rope on the bottom. It's a very noisy episode. I'll just turn the engine on now. Oh, I should have I uh, should have set the clutch engagement to start at zero. Or we'll start at 0 0.33. Zoom! I know I'm going somewhere north-ish. Probably over this direction. Um, and I need to wait for my research to finish researching and I need a new mission because I'm not doing this one blue cabrio because like where's where is that gonna need to be it's gonna be need to be towed somewhere which is likely Hulk town or somewhere stupid and if there's a fire there's gonna be people who need to be rescued so they'll need to be going to a hospital I'm basically just keeping an eye out for crates because it looks like there's one over there uh, and otherwise, the boat is somewhere out over there. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that looked like a crate. Nope. Six research points and 6k. That's pretty good. It'd be really cool if there was a handheld GPS. Like, same as the compass, but it doesn't output anything. It, it only outputs the X and Y position, so it doesn't give you a direction just where you are. That way you would still need a compass and a handheld GPS. Make a good combination. Mm. Well, here's Sawyer, so... It's actually like a relatively small area that I'm working in. It's just I can't see anything, so it makes it... A mess. What's really annoying is that my monitor is so old and busted. It's got like something leaked in the top and it's like I've got smears all the way across. So I, it looks like there's things where there aren't things. It's just my monitor's busted. I must be over here though, right? Where the, the bridge is? It looks like where a bridge would go. Two, more like 180, but. Oh, is that it? Yes. See, it's not very far away. It's, it's just, I can't see. Oh, that's not helpful. Um, ah, an orange tint. I don't want to be doing Man, was I really facing that way? I want to get further away from the mainland. I really wish they had a mode or like an area where it was all the old islands in an island formation so that you get missions on the islands. I don't want to be going onto the mainland. Okay, a rope. Where did I put the ropes? Did I... I brought ropes, didn't I? Yeah, I got ropes. Rope. Okay, we need to go sort of south.
I just realized they've got the heat symbol. Mm, but the engine temperature is not really high, so I don't know why I'm hot. I thought maybe the engines were going to catch fire. Um, obviously, the temperature, everything below Sawyer is just like hot when you start the game. So in, what is this, like mm, July? No, it's June, right? So yeah, middle of the year. Uh, this is a northern hemisphere set game. So in the middle of the year it's hot and at the end of the year it's cold. So I think my heat status is that it's just, it's just a hot day. What they should do with missions is let you set a mission difficulty level and it will spawn missions at that level. So if you're just feeling like you just want to chill out and do a real simple mission, just pick like one or two. And then if you want to do a real complicated mission, you pick like seven or eight or something. But also the way that they're scaling difficulty is they're just making you travel a lot further. What they need to do is build missions that are like multi-stage. So like a, a difficulty nine mission, you have to like rescue someone who's underwater in a cage, recover their ship. And it doesn't have to be really far away. It just needs like a lot of different stages to it. Maybe you have to take them to one place or you have to go somewhere, pick up some equipment, take it to somewhere, then do a thing with it, and then move all that equipment back with the people. It'd be really good if this ramp had lights on it. There is one. And two. Yeah, what, like, why isn't there a, a lights button for here? Aren't these lights? None of these turn on. There's got to be a button for that somewhere, right? Lights? This button doesn't do anything. Do you think maybe it did and then at some point they removed it? Because this lights button is obviously these ones. Hmm, weird. Research is complete. Okay, I want to get... Um, doors? Displays? Uh, I can go for a bigger battery. Or pumps. I might need pumps. Propellers. <laughs> Everything's kind of useful. Oh, wheels. I need these wheels. One hour for wheels. Uh, doors are about an hour. Don't think I need propellers necessarily. Not yet. I think I should get wheels. I don't know what I was saying yesterday about what I should get. Or the day before. Whenever I last recorded. Begin. An hour. Should I just sleep it off? Like, if there's no missions, there's only this one, which, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Two casualties in the ocean. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I can do that. What does it need? To the hospital. I wonder if the hospital ship is somewhere out here. Ooh. Um, oh, mm, that's not good. Do I have beds? Oh, I do have bed. I should rebuild this boat so that I've got a bed on board. Still going to be another 52 minutes for wheels. So I'm going to have to use coasters. But I have modular engines. Okay, I think it's time for a new vehicle. Let's go a bit wider this time. Like, uh, I think it was 11 before. That's 9. That's 11. 
I'm gonna go with like a a catamaran kind of shape. But how big is a wheel? Because I have to use these car these coasters. So they are three. One, two, three, four. It's pretty big. Maybe too big. I don't think it needs to be that pointy. And then I guess the the cat part needs to come through here or something. How does this work? Oosh. And then uh, I guess the, the top part can still be a bit pointy. Maybe it doesn't need to be so pointy though. Oh, I don't have rails. Do I have pipes? I want to make like a, a mesh thing. Each one of these is like 10 bucks. Okay, so that's the basic hull. And then the wheels will go... Ugh, they have to go as far forwards as they can, but this is going to be very difficult to get it back onto land. I'm going to have to reverse it onto land, I think. I'm going to go down one more. Is this long enough? It could be a little bit longer. Yeah, that'll be fine. Thinking for like steers, right? Cut in a bit here and chuck some... I don't have steers. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> it's so rough. Just not having what you normally have. We'll go for ramp. I should be able to hop up there. Get rid of. Uh, actually, having those might make the physics shape a bit better. And then at the very back. That's right, eh? And behind the wheel, I'll put the propellers. We'll go three because. It's so much bigger now, I'm going to need more, 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 more power. And I can do modular engines, so I'll do a huge modular engine. I'll do it on the back, just up above. Up here will be fine. How many cylinders? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it'll be like 30 cylinders, no, 40 cylinders. I'll just use the normal starter, I think. I might need a couple of them for how big it is. And then going to use an impeller and I can probably get away with an alternator, maybe. So we'll go exhaust. Actually, exhaust can just go out the bottom, I think, like that. Um, cooling is gonna be a pain for this, but I have these radiators, electric radiators. Do I do one? Is one enough? It's kind of like if I have seawater cooling, it's probably going to be better, but I need to pipe it down to here, and that's where it becomes an issue. Air manifold up top, and I'll do an air filter. This is not a filter. This is just called an air filter. And then I'll do fuel on this side and then my manifold on the other side. And I guess I can use the big one. If I move the whole engine forwards, I can put the impeller at the back. So yeah, big impeller, I think it goes like that. And then we do a T. So we'll drop down. Oh no, I should be using gearboxes first. So that will gear it up and then I need to put the reverse gear there so I might as well chuck another gear here. Send it up and then this one is reverse so the impeller will always be going the right way or well, the same way. We need a gap here for the power to connect and then I'll do both sides, run a pipe up and might as well just go straight up into the floor 
then this one will come over here go across and up this is the coolant in so I can pull it in from either side should be fine I wonder if I put a filter on that so it doesn't suck in the air do I have filters I do liquid if I do a liquid relief then it will only allow fluid through that part and then I'm gonna use these pipes and then it's going to spit it out here so I might need to swap the fuel side Come across and then we go up the thing with this I'm not sure if you need to close the loop no you don't you must not need to close the loop because an open loop into the ocean is like an open loop I'm just gonna chuck the water out and since this is all open it's just like it's whatever just fall off the deck somewhere and then put the fuel manifold on the other side and I can only use these tanks okay we can try put one on each side like this yeah that's probably okay yeah like that four tanks connect them on the top it's not like I'm going to refuel this but it's like if I really have to then all the equipment is here And then this one here is the power out. And so I will splice that into the same pipe that the water is coming in. And then I think here, we just need to go, probably one of these would be the easiest way. And then a T and an angle. And then splice it into here we should be connected does that cause problems because now it's after my reverse no because it's the other side it's not connected it shouldn't matter like which way the impeller is spinning because it's only spinning into a fluid side not a power side okay <laughs> now rudders do i just like chuck them in the sides or i can't really put them on the bottom can i i got my wheels so they're gonna have to go on the sides yeah i'm okay with that i don't really mind too much this isn't gonna be a uh, like a long lasting boat so i'll move this uh, no i'll chuck the seat there battery I think I should have a couple of batteries and then I still don't have any keys do I I have a key now okay so do I have pivots I don't have pivots I need to know what do I need to know my battery level and my fuel level see I've got I've already got ECUs my ECU is a bit suspicious not the best I'll set it up anyway and just see if it works in no instrument panels so buttons it is um i've only really got the lights and the other thing would be the brakes if i i don't even know if there are wheel brakes on this this is the brakes oh there are nice so now if i'm going really fast up one of those ramps i should be able to roll up and then turn the brakes on go to the rudders W and S go to this. Oh no, uh, I need a W S. W S. Throttle down. Throttle up. And then this goes into throttle lever. Okay. This thing here, I'm going to use to count the fuel.
So we just grab a function and we need this one, this one with all of them, x plus y plus z plus w. And we'll go left one will be fuel. Um, what was it? It was like 180, no, it was like 170 or something. 680. And then a battery. You can just read one battery if it's on the same system. So that can just go to any of those. What am I missing? I have not connected reverse. Number one to this gearbox. And then this gearbox is the only one that actually needs electricity, but I'll connect all these ones as well. This is a very big boat. I might need to scale it back. <laughs> it's huge. I don't even know if it's going to work. Uh, come on. Turn. I should have put a dial in for engine temperature because it's actually important for a modular engine. Is it going down the ramp? <laughs> Oh, it's probably going to bottom out on the ramp. Just going to go goop. Hold on, it's going. No, it did bottom out. Yeah. I think it's stuck. Hmm. <laughs> Do I have skids? Nope. Okay. I'm going to need more wheels. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, I didn't paint that. I didn't paint it. Oh. It's going to be so nice once I've got steerable wheels. Okay, we're off. We're off. We're off. We're off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, key. It's on? Yeah, it's because it's a modular, it's very quiet. <laughs> Why is it so slow? This ECU is a piece of crap. I know, like, what I did with my uh, pilot boat is I set the max RPS really high. And then these gearboxes are all facing the right way. I'm just gonna, s uh, if I sleep, the mission might expire. Just setting the, the max RPS really high doesn't actually work very well. It'll like choke it out at some point. That's so funny. on I mean it's going we're going very slow fuel we've got fuel it'd be good if I, I should have taken off a cylinder so I could see or maybe I should have just like built a system to read the engine data I have no idea how fast it's going oh we can check this I guess yeah so gearbox right RPS A is the one that's coming in, so it's not even doing one RPS. And then the final RPS before it goes into the impeller. Hello. Is like nine. It's gonna be slow. Can I return it? I'm too far away. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing with engines, you know? Maybe I need a bigger engine. At least the hull is good. I'm gonna try and get a better engine, which might just mean a bigger engine. And I think I'll just use the ZE controller because at least it works and like it, it knows what it's doing. So I'll take all this, shuffle it forwards, and then I'll just make this engine like twice as long. We'll go all the way up to the front. 
Um, I don't actually need any of these. Like, if it's got one, it'll be fine. Oh, boy. I really want to sleep, but I don't want to lose the mission. Are we going? I think it's going. Lights. Okay. We're off. It doesn't seem much faster than it was before. Oh well. At least we're going. And I can see the um, turbine. Wind turbine over there. So that's good, because that's kind of where we need to be going anyway. In that general direction. <laughs> what a beast of an engine. How many cylinders is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is 56 cylinders. It's pretty good, eh? Like, the main, the main deck is just completely out of the water. I guess there must be a lot of drag from all the wheels in the water. I could have put a impeller on the supercharger, that might be a good idea. Looks like we found it. That was very easy. In the dark, made it super easy. Oh, not too fast, not too fast. Ooh. God damn it. Take my hand. Come on. Uh, where are you going, boat? Boat? Hello? <laughs> Wait a minute, boat. <laughs> Wait a minute. I've turned the throttle off. Where are you going? <laughs> Can I catch it? Am I fast enough? I think it's faster than what I can swim. When I'm like bobbing in and out of the water, it's slowing me down. Why is it getting away? I need to turn it off to stop it. Oh my god. I'm sure I can get it if I wasn't bobbing out of the water the whole time. Stop! Stop! This is the police. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Got him. Uh, so yeah, no throttle and the clutch is still engaged. Which means... The... Value for just beginning to engage is like too low so my engine rps is six i bet my engagement value is like four or something so engine off yes it's a good thing this boat's a piece of crap because if it could actually go fast it would have been gone Uh, I don't know where the other person is. Oh, that did. Great. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> okay, now a hospital. Two hospital ships to choose from. And you need to go a little bit north-ish. 
well, northwest, so like somewhere between 270 and I guess 300 is good, right? I don't know, I'll probably see them before I, or hear them before anything else. They seem pretty close. Hopefully they're moving towards me. And actually, let's check the research. Ah, 30 minutes. What do I get after wheels? Because heavy... Heavy, heavy land vehicles won't even get me tracks. Then I have to go to the next one. That's so far away. I reckon it would be better to get something else. Uh, like rescue equipment to get winches and diving. I think you get scuba. Yeah, you get scuba first and then you can get the diving gear later. I kind of want pivots, which is in uh, basic mechanics and then compact mechanics. I mean, you can get the, the big pivots, but they're a bit of a pain. Uh, decorations is only rails and tires, so that can be a last resort kind of thing. Instrument panels would be so useful. And doors is really useful because you can keep water out, but then you also need pumps, which is in fluid management. Except I have impellers. If I have impellers, I can hook them up to small motors. But navigation is important as well. Actually, I want to get navigation next. Um, but yeah, I want to get navigation because I was thinking I'm losing my boats all the time. So what I need is not a transponder because a transponder only pings like when you're in the area, it just beeps. That's not useful. And I could try and make something like someone in my Discord has made a system that will detect the range of a transponder. So, like, I know it's possible to figure out the distance, but that's not really useful information unless you know the direction as well, which is probably possible to figure out. I think what might be better, though, is to put, like, a, a GPS sensor on every boat and... Where am I? Have a GPS sensor on every boat and an antenna and then if I know I have to leave the boat somewhere I can flick that system on and it can be isolated from the rest of the electrical system with a solar panel and then that will just always emit the boat's name and its GPS coordinate because it's just going to be floating right so it's going to be like this boat is definitely abandoned and it's floating here because that's all I need to know is how to get to it the other side of that is I'll need a system to put on all my boats that can pick up all these signals and it'll tell you which boats are floating out in the ocean. So it would be like you have to send all your signals into a table or something and then have the receiving system be able to look through every entry in the table. I'm pretty sure what I'm going towards right now is a hospital ship. It looks like he might be going the other way though. Yeah, I think he's driving away, but I think it's still closer than going off to the fishing village or Holt Town. It'd be good if I could like shoot a flare, if I had a flare, and then it knows to like go towards the flare or something. I might not catch him, that's the problem. If he keeps going, I'll keep following him because at the very least, I will come all the way over to North Meyer Outpost and then I can just run these people up to the hospital. I'm actually going way faster than this guy. Caught up to him very easily and I think he just stopped. Uh, key. I need to get over to there. Where did I put the ropes? Okay. Uh, this person I think is fully healed. And this person needs a bit of healing. Mm. 
I'll get them on board before I start following. Ah, it's it's so close. I might as well just pick them both up. Three thousand. So that's maximum. Maximum reward. Another three thousand. No. Rude. Where's that rope? Whoop. Okay. So, I guess I can sleep. There we go. Land vehicles researched. And I wanted navigation next, right? Yes. Are they all an hour? I thought some of them were only like half an hour. Oh well, I'll sleep again and see if I can get a mission. It'll be another night mission. Transport one cop. Hmm, that's kind of close. What's my fuel? I had like 600 when I started, so... Holy moly. It's really fast in reverse. Why is it fast in reverse? Whatever, I guess I'll go north. That's how it works, right? I go to the person and I take them down to here. Bit of backtracking. Should be okay. Just turn my game audio down to 10% because I think it's too loud. So let me know if that is not loud enough now. But it seems like I'm going over here, which is three rocks. So I can come in from this side, I th think. Should be okay to come in on either side. And then this island over here is this one on my map. Which means somewhere out over there is the target destination. Oh no, the engine temp is like 90. Um, which means... Hmm, big problems. The ZECU has like, um, damage control, heat prevention, whatever, it'll, it'll lower the RPS to maintain temperature. But I think because we're in the ocean, scaling might become an issue. That's one of the problems using ZE, i found anyway, is that it will just push the engine really hard until it starts to break and then it will throttle down from there. It doesn't like run at a nice average kind of performance level. Like we're going, but we're going at the cost of engine damage. Whereas if I was using my ECU, it barely goes, but it won't damage the engine. I could just research the next engine level medium modular engines get a 3x engine because i'm gonna need that at some point anyway it'd be really good to have like a another cooling loop or another way to run the impeller for cooling even when the engine's off so you can turn the engine off and then keep it running to cool the engine down faster I probably just need like more impellers or something. I could just use electric pumps, but I don't know, impellers seemed pretty cool. But yeah, I also don't have pumps. Maybe I need pumps. Fluid management, four. I can afford it. Ugh. I should probably do that instead of. Wait, I didn't have anything planned for the next one, did I? So I could just do that. Get the fluid pumps. The, the way I'm doing the cooling, like just dumping it out of the top, there's nothing wrong with that because there's heaps of flow, like it's... Is that 100 and... Oh, there's only 10? 10, 10 litres? If I was using the small fluid pump, it'd be like 130. So I should definitely get fluid pumps. When I get here, I'm going to have to leave it for a bit to cool down anyway. I'm going to have to turn it off, let it cool down. 
it might actually go to 100 and start scaling and that's going to be a real problem. I bet it will. Uh, if I can get there before it gets to 100, that would be very helpful. Also the alternator is not generating any electricity or enough electricity. Where is the fuel? I need fuel so... We'll let it cool off and then I'll take a hose. I need to get some diesel from here so I don't run out. Maybe there's a crate. Uh, I'll do a quick check. I don't think there's any... There might be one crate spawn around here but I don't know if there is. A dog. I heard a dog. A dog. Okay, well, let's look for a crate. And then we'll take the dog. Dog, 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 dog. Pug. Boop. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> just, gotta catch them all. Dogs. Looking for a crate. I don't know if I've ever seen a crate in here. Maybe in the bottom room nope nope and there's the police you're coming with me um, so if I was to buy three rocks, I can spawn stuff in there, but I can't spawn stuff in there. Or the no water spawning. Any bases that have multiple build zones, I can spawn anywhere that isn't water. Man, we're only at 90. This engine's definitely gonna die. Um, I guess I just risk it and go with I've, I've got enough welders I suppose or I don't know I just have to let it sit for a while like a long maybe once I've delivered the cop I can fast forward through time and that might change the temperature I don't think it would though because like you don't you, you don't lose electricity from a battery if you do a time skip so I don't see why any other values on a vehicle would change through a time skip I need to take a screenshot. I didn't take a thumbnail picture. Thumbnail picture. Thumbnail picture. Oh, I didn't even get any fuel. I'm gonna. We're not gonna make it. Where am I going? I'm going to the police island. There's definitely not fuel there. I'm so dumb. That's why I picked up a hose. I need to make a jerry can equipment. I should make a, a two by three equipment thing and then put a jerry can. I feel like I was going faster with the prefab engine. Can I unlock medium prefab? Large boats? I think you need to go down the aircraft, right? You need like propellers to get into the aircraft and that's where you get the medium engine. Helicopters, yeah, planes, yeah, medium engine. Or if you go large boats, hmm, I thought it was large boats and then you got the large prefab engine. Ah! Uh, engine. I nearly crashed. I was trying to look at the birds. Do, 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 do. Okay diesel pump out hmm. I guess I did my mess wrong I'm like 100 liters wrong turn the pump off take my hose back round two okay this time for real
Did I unlock wheels? I did, didn't I? I've got... I've got a wheel... Yeah, I've got like 3x wheels at least. Just kind of pull into here nice and softly. And then cut the engine. <laughs> okay, I'm going to jump. And I'm going to connect it as I jump. First try. First try. I think the only place a crate spawns up here is in the shed out the back. Or uh, like right here. Man, that was only $1,200. And I like destroyed my boat in the process. A good thing there was a crate inside it might be one out here actually there's never much reason to come to the police island so i don't know where all the crate spawns are for this one Aha! two crates doing pretty good actually in terms of how much crates how many crates i've found how much cash and research points i've got from all of it do you think if I jump, I'll survive? Ta da! 10 out of 10. Um, so let's see. The temperature is still very bad. And I need to go back to base. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm just going to have to go for it. So if I just set myself up. Uh, is the red one north? Yeah, red is north. So if I go east. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I forgot to undo the rope. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Dear me. Oh dear me. At least I've got wheels. So if I do end up like going up onto the land accidentally. We just become a car. So yeah, I'll just point it this way and then sleep to get the research going. Okay, now I've got research done. Temperature is not going to get any better, but I can at least get a lot of research going. So this one, I need the pumps. Are you sure you want to... Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Go. Have a quick look. See if there's any crates nearby. Hey, that's the volcanoes. They're really, really close when you think about it. They're very close. Just scanning for crates. I did not see any crates. So yeah, I'm just going to sleep again because it'll speed up the research. New mission. A cage diving, a cave diving instructor is emergency. And I bet he's in a cave. He's in a cave. 130 meters underwater. Can I do that? He'll die though, right? A cave diving instructor. Do you think he's got diving equipment then? And I would need to go underwater in the cave as well. And I don't know the layout of those caves. And it's pretty risky. And also, my boat's close anyway, so it's not like I can go and do that at all. It will have expired by the time I get there. Like, by the time I get back, fix my boat and come back to it, it would expire. 
So, do I want advanced fluid management? Um, the Arctic land vehicles is actually quite good for what I'm doing because the skis prevent you from uh, hitting the hitting the ground. Yeah, it would be really good to put these on the front and back sections, like in the middle of the vehicle. Wheels, I kind of want to get onto the tank tracks. Oh, I should get this, right? I should start the diving equipment. A lot of the missions are going to be like, go underwater and get the shark man or whatever. So I'm going to need some kind of um, diving equipment, even if it's just scuba gear. Yeah, small research sub in distress. 100 meters. Yes. Mm. I don't want to go over there because it's going to be. Everything's going to be in the caves. Equipment researched. Okay, I've got 12 points. I could get. Hmm. What do you get with guns? Do you get the actual gun? Rifle, yeah. You need to get this one to get the rifles. That's 10. Fluid jets. I mm, don't really care about that. All the fins and stuff are not so good. Built sensor would be good. Sonar and radar is all kind of crap. Drilling is crap at the moment. Medium modular engines, but I can't afford it. This is all kind of crap. Except I would like steers. And probably the, the azimuth thruster. But I, I haven't tried any of these pitching, pitchable propellers. I need this firefighting equipment to get the outfit, otherwise I'll burn to death. I think I'm going to do this one, the diving equipment, because the, the outfit, you need to get the deep sea diving. Because right now, I don't have any diving equipment. I've got winches. It was like a, a thing you have to unlock inside the thing. What? That's a power plant. Isn't that TT and a power plant behind it? What? What the hell? Is Brinkfield just like over here somewhere? Diving equipment complete. Okay, I've got two more points. Logic. Um, advanced. Function. Yeah, all the logic ones are crap. Decorations is kind of crap. I want the diving gear. Displays would be good, but oh yeah, I should do displays because that's the path to get instrument panel. And everything else now I think is more than now sensors is one, but everything's getting more expensive now. So I'm gonna go displays. Displays complete, and it's really rough now. <laughs> So yeah, I, I pretty much I can't research anything until I do some missions now. But I've got forty six and a half thousand buckaroos, and we're pretty close to catching on fire. You know, if you were going to build a starter boat, this would be the shape of the hull I would recommend. A kind of typical shape for the the pointed front, but then use a catamaran dual hull for the sides. I think I've cooked the engine. Like I think I've really cooked it. Yeah it keeps stopping. I wonder if I'm close enough that if I just get off and swim the boat might end up there. Except the boat's still probably faster than swimming so I should keep going until the boat blows up. Uh, are we there yet? Transport a new boy awaiting deployment. Oh, that's real close. That's so easy. I want to do that. I need to get this stupid boat back. I'm going to have to chuck the dog, I think. 
As soon as I'm in range, I'm returning the boat. Bon voyage. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. What a actual piece of crap. That's it for today. I'll build a better boat and go do that boy mission next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.